Hey, this is Ultimax98, and I'm just showing you some of the quick bugs for Android 4.3. I have it running here on my Galaxy Nexus. Uh, so on a Android 4.2, they introduced the ability to disable the notification show. And I'm going to go ahead and show you these three apps, Sidebar, Rounder, and wi Smart Wi-Fi Toggler. I'm going to go ahead and disable the notifications for each app. So that way their persistent notifications don't stay on the screen the entire time. So in four, up to 4.2.2, if you went ahead and did this, um, you know, the notifications would disappear, you'd never have to deal with them again. Uh, on Android 4.3 though, I know they introduced a few new updates to the way the notifications are handled, and it seems like it breaks this method. So. I believe this is something more on Google's side instead of the app developer side. Uh, I don't recall seeing anything for app developers regarding persistent notifications, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and power it back on here. You'll see the icons will reappear just the way they were as if I had never hit anything. On a side note, there was one other bug that I noted. It's a, kind of a loop in the gaps. It is something that they've had in the past before where you're using two-step notification and it'll continue looping you through your account settings as if you had never keyed in an account to begin with and it's kind of an annoying bug requires you to pass through the screens without putting it in an account and it can also mess up the way the uh, uh, Wi-Fi um, uh, location sync and all that kind of stuff can get messed up. So go ahead and unlock the device and you see smart Wi-Fi toggler is no longer there until it starts up and there are all the notifications again. Here's the most interesting part if you go ahead and go back to app info you can see the box is unchecked. Um, so this is what tells me it's a bug on Google's part. If you go ahead and check the box and then uncheck the box, you notice that the uh, notification goes away. So that's just a quick update on one of the bugs that I noticed. Alright, this is Ultimax98 again with another bug that I noticed with Android 4.3. Go ahead and show you it here. Get logged. And this is a device that has been completely reset to the factory, uh, the, uh, factory settings put Android 4.3 on it from the developer site and uh, here's where the bug comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and choose browser sign in because I do use two-step verification and uh, let me go ahead and sign in here and I'll show you the bug. Alright, so here's an interesting issue. Um, I have two-step verification signed into my account and uh, I went ahead and just put in my password and username and I was never prompted with the second step for verification. So if I click here I just went ahead and flipped through the system and it appears in fact everything is syncing up with my Google account when in fact I had never put in my second step of verification. So this is a different bug that I noted than I noticed on my Galaxy Nexus uh, where the device actually uh, looped in the setting and didn't allow me to connect to my account and it just kept on looping around and around and around and around until I finally just went in without putting in an account and then I was finally able to get into Android and you know, do it through the uh, account settings through here. So this is another interesting bug in Android 4.3. I don't know if they're using uh, some kind of uh, some kind of memory system for your IMEI or serial numbers to your accounts. They weren't too clear on that, but it definitely seems to be a bug at this time.